Everything we do at Montana Nonprofit Association is designed to create an optimal operating environment for nonprofits. We do some policy work to make sure that regulations are in place that support nonprofits. We do a lot of education around nonprofit specific topics like working with boards, fundraising, those kinds of things, and the nonprofit finance model. We provide curated information, which is one of the things people value most, and especially in a time when there's so much digital information coming at us. We wade through that and provide that to folks. And then there are some other kinds of things we do, but really networking people together for the kind of resilience that comes from peer support and learning together is probably the heart of the association. Our mission at the Montana Community Foundation is to cultivate a culture of giving so Montana communities can flourish. We work with donors and organizations to support strategic and endowed philanthropy in Montana. Uh, we currently have about 1,400 charitable funds and planned gifts that we administered. I really feel as though I'm doing work that's benefiting Montana, which is a state I love dearly. I'm born and raised here and I'm so excited to do work that supports the state that I love and helps preserve what is so special about it. I also love that I get to work with people all over the state and learn so much about the different unique communities we have. I'd really like to see endowed philanthropy increase and make that lasting impact in Montana, helping to ensure its future. And last, I would just mention that there's a great transfer of wealth that is happening in our state from one generation to the next. And I would like to see us be able to capture some of that for the benefit of Montana as we continue to work for the good of Montana forever. We were essential really to nonprofit support in Montana and beyond throughout the pandemic. And I think part of it too was just stating the reality of not knowing and what, how, it, how it was to experience not knowing and be adaptable and all of that. So we really worked and walked with people through the experience of so much change while also getting them resources. Helena Area Habitat for Humanity was started in 1992 with the goal of alleviating poverty by building uh, simple, decent, affordable homes with homeowners. Uh, we bring home ownership and reach by uh, being efficient in the building process. Helena Habitat's approach to addressing the desperate need for housing uh, is very simple. Uh, it's going to seem almost silly, but we're building more and we're doing everything that we can, putting everything on the table to build more, uh, to repair more, to keep people in their homes, um, but also to expand the stock of housing and make it permanently affordable. So it's not just one family that we're building, but generations of family being served by the same house. Uh, we're standing in one of those homes right now. Uh, this home will be serving generations of folks uh, long after uh, we've gone on. What this work means to me personally is I get to show up every day doing stuff that is interesting, engaging, and that solves a problem for the community around me. I'm not spending my time just sitting in a cubicle somewhere, but I'm actively engaged in solutions. Family Connections is a child care resource and referral agency. We help families uh, find and pay for childcare. So we offer scholarships to, so families can afford the expense of childcare because it's very expensive. And then we help them find a high quality option that fits their family for childcare. And then we also help childcare providers. So childcare providers will come to us a new business and we'll help them get started. We'll do technical assistance with them, get, connect them to all the resources that they need, and then establish childcare providers. We do training and coaching to help them meet their quality goals. Childcare workforce really had to step up during the pandemic. They were challenged by a whole new set of rules and guidelines, and we tried to be there to help them. We gave them resources, we gave them support. Sometimes we were just a person on the phone that they could talk to. Helping childcare businesses stay the course and not close was essential to our families and the workforce because our economy, we figured out that the foundation, one of the foundation elements is childcare. And when they close, then families struggle. When they stay open, families and the workforce and employers thrive. And so we're there to try and help that happen. We are trying to build a workforce 
and we are excited to bring more people into this workforce, passionate, who are loving, want to work with children, who love children. One of the best things about what I do is that we impact the future. We touch generation after generation by working with children. And that's what, what me and everyone I work with is most excited about what we do. The NAEDC nonprofit means to our community. It's helping to change that mindset that you don't have to leave the reservation to make a career. You can actually make a living here and a good living. And so that's what we, part of what our nonprofit teaches youth and residents, community members here. The work that I do here is building a better future for the future generations so they don't have to build that foundation. It'll already be built for them and when it's their turn to um, carry on that torch. I just wanted to help build like my home community but also the other communities on Fort Belknap. I grew up here and I know what it's like to live in poverty and I know that through education and building your skill set and learning about your identity as an Indigenous person, you know, that success and being able to share that with other youth that are living here and being a role model to them that you can do great things in your community. The Gallatin Valley Land Trust is a 30-year-old nonprofit organization based in Bozeman. It serves most of Southwest Montana with a mission to conserve open space, agricultural lands, wildlife habitat, and to provide and create trails for our community's recreation. For 32 years, GVLT has been working to conserve these places, and we have an incredible track record of success. Some 50,000 acres have been conserved to date with the help of 120 plus local families. And uh, we're right on the cusp of 100 miles of trail creation here in the Bozeman. Gallatin Valley area and man, it takes a lot of work to get that done and we, we really have a, a long track record of success. I think we've seen in this community a lot of interest in our work so we're getting more and more folks that want to help us with trails and want to help us with our land conservation. Our big pandemic project uh, is right here behind me at Pete's Hill um, in downtown Bozeman. We worked with the community to save 12 acres here that was in threat of development. We see a great need for the work that we do, preserving open spaces and recreation for our community. We don't need to change what we do, we just need to do more of it. For me personally, it's hoping that my children and their children will have the same opportunities I had to explore nature, to see these beautiful places. And the growth we're seeing here in Southwest Montana threatens that. And so I find real power in our work keeping this place the same. Raise Montana, our mission is to support childcare across Montana on behalf of childcare providers and families and children. We are the network office for the state's childcare resource and referral agencies. Whatever childcare providers are needing, we really get the chance to listen and try to provide a solution for them. I'll get personal, my granny was the director of an early Head Start in my hometown, and so I got to watch her as I grew up. But I saw the impact of what a strong early childhood program really did for families. So that took me on a social work journey. So it's always been about children and families for me. It's just such an honor to work with and for um, people that are doing such amazing work. When I retired, I needed something to do because I'm a nurse and I'm always looking for things to help people. And so uh, when they asked me to be on the board, I was thrilled. Our clients, uh, we try to have a variety of food for them and we make them feel welcome. It's very hard for people to come and, and get food when they are needy. And so uh, we try to make them as comfortable as possible. I live on just disability due to an accident years ago. So this really supplements my 
my ability to um, eat. <laughs> and sometimes it's been like very, very necessary. I mean, it, it may not seem that way, but with the price of groceries anymore, to go into the grocery store is just frightening. I am involved in this work mostly uh, when I see the people so needy and they are so happy to come and we treat them with graciousness and it just does my heart good. Some of our younger people that come and get food ask us how they can volunteer, so we uh, are able to reach out through them. Nicholas approached us and wanted to do an Eagle Scout project. My family and my troop built the food box to put at the bread basket. Patty and Nancy are the two people that have been helping me the whole time, so I've made really good friends with them. I feel like I'm a better person because now people can actually get food from it whenever the food pantry is not open or when it gets too late. Nicholas is a wonderful young man. He's very polite. He's just a really down-to-earth kid. I like being busy and uh, I enjoy the people so much. And because I worked in the schools for 26 years, it's really fun to greet uh, some of the younger people that come in because they remember me as Nurse Patty and, and it is just so fun to get to visit with them and, and see what they're doing with their lives. I just think nonprofit work is about the most joyous work you can do. And I know it's, it has its stresses, but we do it because we're making a difference and it's meaningful and there's a lot of joy in that, especially for us as the Nonprofit Association. We get to be mixed up in that which is wonderful.